is a look, y'all. This is, this is a trend. <laughs> this is a trend. This is a look for me. Hmm? Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching my video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'm gonna show you how I moisturize my partial dreadlocks. I have about 63 dreadlocks, and I'm also gonna show you the refresher spray I use. So I moisturize my dreadlocks two, sometimes three times a week, just depending on my scalp and how dry it feels. And then I use my refresher spray, which also moisturizes once a day, sometimes twice a day, depending on um, if I wanna change my hairstyle or whatever. So um, I literally woke up, I sleep with a nightcap on, so my hair's pretty, crazy looking. I just woke up and threw it up in this ponytail. I mean, this is a look y'all. This is, this is a trend. <laughs> this is a trend. This is a look for me. Hmm? Tell me what you think. It's a look. It's a trend. I mean, I rock this a little too often. So, <laughs> so I'm going to pull down all my dreadlocks. You can see them. I have partial dreadlocks all back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my dreadlocks from my loose hair. And I have my hair dreaded pretty high up. And I just have the front all the way around the crown of my head. Not dreadlocked. So I want to make sure I don't have any. So I do put the oil over my whole scalp. I just make sure to really focus the majority of it on my dreadlocks. I don't want too much on my loose hair. I don't wanna look like a super grease ball, especially if I wear my hair down. I don't want a whole lot of oil in my loose hair. If you are not used to oil conditioning, it does take a couple times of oiling your scalp for your pH balance to get even. So what happens is when you wash your hair every day, your body naturally overproduces oils. Um, and then we're going in and we're putting more oil on top of that. So it can create extra oil, but eventually your body's gonna get used to this extra oil and calm down on making too much. So it's actually better to add the oil. Um, so I'm gonna start back here and we're gonna start with the deep conditioning that I do to my scalp and through my dreadlocks and this is with oils and then I will get into the moisturizing spray after this that I do daily. So this is what I do about twice a week. Um, I start with a carrier oil. I use almond oil for this. Almond oil, you can use olive oil also. I just like almond oil. I think it smells pretty good. So I'm going to use a pretty nice size amount of this. I got this one at Walmart. I'll try to list everything that I got or a good equivalent in the comments below. Um, the carrier oil is moisturizing. Um, so almond oil is moisturizing. It's good for your hair. Um, it's really just to help spread everything. Next, I use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is essential for this. You can kind of mix up what you use for your hair, but do not skip on tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is an antifungal, which you need for dreadlocks. Um, you hear about people talking about, oh, my dreadlocks got moldy or they smell funny or it won't if you use tea tree oil. This is an antifungal. Um, it also helps with the pH balance in your hair and it helps with dry, itchy scalp. So tea tree oil is just amazing. So I go in second with this and I use about half the amount of tea tree oil that I did of almond oil. And then next, I use jojoba oil. I got these three at Walmart. I use this jojoba oil and I just do a very little bit of this. Jojoba oil is mainly for moisture and it's also great for dry, brittle hair, which dreads can get very dry and brittle because we don't condition them with shampoo and conditioner. You essentially are just shampooing them so they tend to get very dry. And people don't think that you need to condition them, but you absolutely do. So jojoba oil is amazing for dry, brittle hair, stops the breakage, um, also helps a little bit with growth. 
Um, next, I got this off Amazon. It's lavender oil. I am not the biggest fan of the smell of lavender oil. It does smell good, but it's very strong. So I just use one or two drops of this, but it's amazing for hair growth. It's gonna make your hair grow so quick. Um, so I love lavender oil to get my hair to grow a lot faster, but like I said, the smell is very strong. So I use two drops of the lavender oil. It just comes on a little dropper like this, and I just put two in my hand. So I have all my oils in my hand. So all four of those mixed together, and I just rub my hands together. And then I focus on the tips of my fingers. And what I do is I go in between my dreads and just rub the oil directly. Keep rubbing right onto my tips of my fingers. And I'm just gonna work this oil. And I part my dreadlocks. And then I'm just gonna keep working the oil right onto my fingertips so I can focus it right on my scalp. Okay, really focus that through there. And you can get an empty bottle and mix all these proportions into an empty bottle. I just do it as I go. I find it easier. Sometimes I like to add a little more tea tree oil or I want my lavender to be a little stronger smelling. And then whatever's left on my hands, I just run through the length of my dreadlocks. And then I'll really focus on the ends, especially my bottom two rows have some extensions. Not every single one has extension on it, but extensions get very, very dry. So I really focus on the ends, particularly the extensions. All right. And then I won't do this on video because it's really time consuming, but I will go through each individual dreadlock and I'll palm roll it with the oils that are on my hands. And I'll go through and do every single one, but I won't bore you with that. I think you get the idea. Go through each individual one, palm roll it. And then this loose hair up here, I still have oil on my hands. So I take my loose hair and I essentially hold it straight up like this. And the oil that's left on my hands, I just, work through my scalp. And I have noticed since I've had dreads, I started oil conditioning my scalp. I have severe psoriasis. I have um, some autoimmune diseases. I have lupus and some connective tissue diseases. And my psoriasis on my scalp has gotten a lot better. And psoriasis, dandruff, anything with dreadlocks is a nightmare. So this is essential for me. So any extra oil I have, I focus only on my scalp. And then I'll do a little bit on my ends and that's it. So that's it for the, the oil conditioning. That's all I'm gonna do for the oil conditioning. Let me brush this hair back out of the way. And I will show you guys what I do for my refresher spray. So that's all done. That's all I do for my oil conditioning. I do that, like I said, twice a week, sometimes three times a week if my hair's feeling dry or my scalp's feeling a little itchy or dry. Okay, so now for my, um, this is my refresher spray. I use this every single day. Um, what's in here is I filled it full with distilled water. You want distilled water, not just regular tap water. Distilled water is free of all impurities and it's also gonna make your hair a lot softer. It's better for your hair, so make sure you use distilled water. I have a glass amber bottle just to preserve my oils. Um, and then in here, this is gonna be preference based again. I'm gonna tell you what I did this time. I do switch it up, um, but this time I filled it full with distilled water. I did one full, I just used the, the little dropper out of my, um, lavender tube. I did one full dropper of almond oil. I did one full dropper of tea tree oil. Like I said, tea tree oil is your go-to. your go -to. And then I did half a dropper of jojoba oil. And I did about half a dropper of lavender oil. Cause like I said, it's very, very strong smelling. 
Some people prefer the smell of lavender, so you can always do more or less, it's preference. And then I'll go through a phase where sometimes I only put tea tree oil in here because that's, that's the money, that's what you want. So I mix this up really good. All the oils are in there, so I shake it up and then I just spritz this on my dreads only. And this is so nice and so refreshing, especially when I wake up and my dreads are all crinkly and crazy looking. Like I said, I do sleep with a nightcap on, which has helped tremendously. I didn't to begin with, and that was a saver when I learned to sleep with a nightcap on. So I spritz them and then I just sponge that throughout and it really helps like straighten out my dreadlocks. It also smells good. It makes you just, it's a refresher spray, so it makes you feel refreshed. I mean, hence the name. And then I will go through and I'll palm roll this also if I feel like I need to after, but that's it, that's all I do. And I don't put the refresher spray on my loose hair because it is oil and I don't wanna look like a grease ball. So there you go. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer you. Um, I'll link, like I said, I'll link all of these products in the description box below or a really good equivalent that I can find. Otherwise, I got the majority of this stuff at Walmart for pretty decent price. So let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. Bye.